So we're checking out the Feather client application right now, and we have this sleek looking UI currently, and it may not look like much at the moment, but um, it's it's a start anyways. It's a lot more different from your typical UIs in a lot of other applications, such as Lunar or Badline, but um, personally, I'd probably have it a little bit smaller, but that's just a personal preference. So, so as you can see from the Feather launcher, they have currently 1.18.9, 1.12, 1 1.2, 1 1.17.1, 1 and 1.18. So these are pretty much all of your versions that you're probably going to use anyways. So at the moment, um, I think it's a pretty good start. So, you know, you can use it in all different versions if you're playing on an SMP or something like that. As you can see on the right, they have a little update post section where you can click on and it'll, I think it'll bring you to their website and you can just check out some of their updates or coming soon, as you can see. If we head on over to this little icon here, the mod section, it's this is where you can find a bunch of external mods that they've added or I believe they made compatible with their with their client. But the one downside with it is that it's not fully customizable when you're in game in their UI for settings and stuff like that. But um, it's a nice addition, you know, um, you have replay mod and some other stuff that you may not find in your normal client, but it's pretty good. All right, so we're launching up Feather Client now, and there's a cute little animation. That's nice. It's a little addition. All right, we're in the Minecraft home screen now, and I actually like uh, the little design they have for their home screen. Um, it's on the side, which I don't know. I kind of prefer over it. So, and they have a little scenery photo that is animated or is a video in the background, which actually looks pretty nice. So here in the home screen for Minecraft, you have your MC settings over here, feather mods where you can enable, disable stuff or figure out what you want to do. Um, you can't edit the UI here, but uh, you can, all the stuff, if you have any cosmetics, you can get it from over here. Multiplayer, single player, all your basic Minecraft stuff. All right, so we hopped on Hypixel now. And so what we're going to do is we're going to play a few games later, but what we can see, you can open the settings by pressing right shift and you can also access your cosmetics here, some of your settings, and this is where you can edit your UI. So as you can see, they have a little snap thing for their UI. So you can find in your UI or your preloaded plugins or your preloaded mods, such as armor status, CPS, boss bar, you know, a lot of these things are also in Luna Client, high pixel mods and stuff like that. But um, what really sets it apart is how they have separate mods, which you can upload into the client, which is actually really nice. It gives the client a lot more customization, which is really nice compared to a lot of other mods where you have to wait or you have to suggest for a certain mod to come out, such as Luna or Bad Lime. All right, so we're gonna head on to the armor status so we can check out this UI. And it looks absolutely amazing. I love how they have a little photo here and to show what it, it would look like. So as you can see, there's a few settings which you can change here, such as enable item name, which it pops up right here. Um, armor damage, you know, basic stuff. A lot of customization actually, but you can also change it to horizontal. So basically all your stuff that you'd find in Lunar, Lunar UI or your basic UI. I love how it actually looks different from other clients because a lot of other clients have pretty much have the exact same UI and stuff like that. But you know, it does resemble a little bit of Lunar with this, but honestly, it's, I don't really mind it too much, but it's really up to personal preference if you want to use this or not. Um, I'm still checking out. So we're on the general setting here. And as you can tell, it's a little red, you know, a light red theme, but you can always change it right here, which I actually like a lot because personally, rather have it not red um you can change all your ui you can change your ui quality um hud editor and everything from here so you know it, it's uh pretty pretty useful so we're at chat options here and one of the really big things with feather client is that it actually has chat in-game chat which you can access somewhere here i believe it's one of the mods yeah so if you enable voice here you can probably turn it on um, post your talk, yeah, I see party chat, stuff like that. So you can edit all the stuff from here, and honestly, if someone just does not, if you're, one of your, if you're playing with one of your friends and they just don't have Discord or something like that, and you're both using Feather, it's a really good alternative from having them download it and everything, and go through the hassle of setting everything up. Preloaded mods, all of these over here, have pretty, a lot of good customization, um, but unfortunately, the mods that you do get are add separately from the application. You cannot customize fully, um, and you're kind of locked on it, locked on the settings that when you downloaded it. If you're going for more of an FPS boost, maybe you might have to try this for yourself, um, and you know, compare with Lunar or Badline, or if you know, you can just use Forge. That, that completely works too. 
So it really depends on personal preference. Um, if you want everything to be customized in one spot like this, Lunar Bad Line or something like that. But I would prefer Feather over Bad Line. I think I'd still stay with Lunar for a little bit longer. I'd see how it develop a little bit more. Um, Cause you know, this is still in beta. I had to purchase a beta thing to get access to the client. And since it's still in beta, I probably would wait a little bit for all the issues and kinks to be worked out. But from the looks of it, it's already a lot more advanced than some other clients um, at the time, like like Melon Client. Uh, Melon Client, I believe, had a few issues um, and there was a lot of drama included with that. So I'm really hoping that's not happening here. But it's not really fair if I'm comparing this client over to Lunar because number one, Lunar is highly developed. It's been in development for years. They've had input from other people, creators, partnerships, and whatever. But Feather Client is, from what it looks like, it's getting along a lot faster in development-wise rather than Lunar Client. Lunar Client updates come out once in a while and it's just bug fixes. But um, if you're checking out the beta, I think if you really want to get into Feather Client, um, I think you should really, really join now. I'll leave the Discord and everything. In the description but i really think you should join now before most things come out just so you can see how it develops comes out and you know if you'd prefer it over some other stuff but honestly it's not really comparable to lunar not in a bad way um lunar lunar is just a lot more developed it had a lot more time worked on from i haven't encountered any glitches at all from what i've played so far i've played a few better games and I haven't really encountered anything yet other than a little bit of input lag with the UI, but that's pretty much it. If you really think about it, Feather Client is actually doing pretty well. If you really want to get access to Feather Client, you can boot either boost the server on the Discord or you can purchase a beta access cape, which is what I did. It was for, I think it was around $12 USD. So it, it's not too expensive. It's about how much a cape would cost for Bad Line or Lunar. So. <laughs> I'ma show it back. If the catch is too small, I'ma throw it back. I've done a lot, but I ain't got.